to get into these dryers, you gotta remove these two screws. Unplug the machine first. Slip off this deal. And then that allows you to remove the trim plate. Then on each side, you'll have these screws that slip down. you to lift, kind of lift up and then press down a little bit and there we go okay and then right here you've got these you just loosen them a little bit and then slip the screw up it allows it to go on a slide I don't want to do it because I'm not going to take this one apart again make sure machine is unplugged thing on this side loosen it and then push it up and that'll allow you to pull the whole door forward from the bottom. Then you can grab it by both sides, probably wearing gloves. It's really sharp, so be careful. And then you can slip it down from the top hooks, rotate it to the left as the wires are connected. Usually you can balance it on the left edge so that you can disconnect the wires. And then disconnect your disconnects up top. If machine unplugged, you want to disconnect the white wire lead, but you can actually leave the red or orange wire connected. That's the door switch that just disconnect the white wire lead and the disconnects. That will allow you to set the door on the floor or somewhere more convenient. Okay, so I ran into this a few times and so I thought it'd be good to make this video. What's happening is the exhaust blower is rubbing and the clip on these, I'm turning the drum to the left in order to make it rotate but the clip on these sometimes isn't tightened down enough and so it allows the blower wheel to move and rub up against the the housing so what you got to do is loosen that clip position the blower push it back a little back far enough so it's not rubbing and then tighten the clip really good and uh, what I recommend is a socket set and that will tighten it down strong enough to hold the clip because the clip has a compression where it presses uh, against the, the, uh, the shaft of the, the motor shaft and that's what keeps it in place. So you just need to tighten it good enough to, to hold it in proper position and things will be back to normal nice and quiet. Then when you put it back together, you got to connect your deals. Then you've got to angle your, your door in to these ar arms that are this way. There's two of them, one on each side. You've got to open the door, and then lift the screw up so that it drops in between here. Slide down. You have to open the door and position the drum all the way back here. You have to lift it up and push it, push it back to get the drum on and then position it. Not the easiest thing. Definitely super sharp. Good idea to wear some gloves. Let's get that all back in. And you start at the bottom. and lift it up over the top. Then set your two screws back in. And then you'll be all set. Verify everything works. One thing I've been running into quite a bit is this exhaust motor slips forward. It's not the best, I think, clip there for what it is. But it does work, you just have to tighten it down a little bit, but it seems like I often see it not tightened down well enough. So, anyway, one of those things you run into. Job security. All right. All right, screws all back in. And this deal just lines up with the flat side there. There we go. Now we can test it out. 
Yeah, we're good to go. One's ready, 2020. You gotta be ready for the Lord's return. The Lord is gonna come for his bride anytime. Uh, Jesus came to seek and to save those that were lost. That was me. We've all missed the mark. Every person sinned and come short of the glory of God. But Jesus took the punishment that we rightfully deserve on himself at the cross and he gives his righteousness to those that believe on him. So if you haven't put your trust in him, call out to him to save you. It's a gift of salvation. You can't earn it. He did it all on the cross, and He calls us to a loving relationship with Him. So you are invited to be reconciled to God, something that was impossible. God is holy, and our sin is separated. But without God, it was impossible. But God came to save us. He sent His Son, Jesus. You know, again, He took all of our sin on the cross and uh, gave Himself so that we could be justified in Him. So call out to him, get into the Bible, into the Word, and start to grow so that you're protected from deception. There's strong delusions out there, strong deception. And Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He's the only way to the Father. He's the only way to God. So don't, don't get tripped up or tricked. And don't, don't miss out on what is yours through Jesus. So call out to him today. Don't wait. Time is short. He's going to return for his people. And uh, if you missed it and you find yourself in the tribulation, call out to Jesus to save you. Uh, you'll likely die for your faith, but still, like, you have eternal life. The tribulation only lasts seven years. So if you find yourself in part of it, you know, it's not going to be long before everything's finished anyway. Seven years is not a long time. Although in the tribulation, it's going to seem like a long time. But be faithful unto death. That means trusting in Jesus all the way. Um, there's probably not going to be a lot of food. Um, and it's going to be a difficult situation. But uh, you, can, you can still have eternal life through Jesus. Because again, he took all of our sin on himself at the cross. So put your trust in him today so you don't miss out. And... Uh, so that you have the covering because he is the lamb the lamb of god that takes away the sin of the world all right stay safe out there god bless god bless you